are minimalists. <laughs> You're right. We are uncomfortable with stillness. Mm-hmm. We, meaning all well, of us. Yes, but the Hadza are not uncomfortable with stillness. Mm. In fact, it's a great source of experience. I won't even say pleasure for them. It's a great source of experience for them. Mm. Is or maybe even a great so- source of joy for them. In it's a, because it's part of the everyday life. The reason we're so uncomfortable with it is because it's not part of our everyday life. Now, here's what the problem with because I agree with you. I was that way. I'm not that way anymore. Mm. But I, I but there's still remnants of it for sure. Mm-hmm. But in 2014 is a great example of that. So 2014, we basically donated a year of our lives. Mm-hmm. Donated is the wrong word, but I mean, we didn't make a bunch of money. We we went on a tour, and all the money we 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 did made, exactly what we wanted to do that, and year. it was awesome. Yes, but it was not very still. It was constantly in motion. Oh my god! But it, it also wasn't obligated. We got to do it. Yeah. But with the moving so quickly, and then stopping fast, like in your car. You get whiplash if you do that. Mm-hmm. If you slam on the brakes or you ram into someone. And that month I spent in San Diego, quote, doing nothing. Yeah. It was disorienting because it was it was like whiplash in a way. Mm. Now, now the Hadza have part of their everyday. Now, it's not a routine as in the sense of what is your morning routine? No, it's just part of their existence. Right. It is stillness. But when stillness becomes part of your existence, all of a sudden you... There's a serenity in it, mm. but not when it's prescribed stillness. And that's what I did back in 2014. <laughs> I was I went and did stillness. Right. You can't do stillness. It reminds me of uh, mm, there's that's a good one, point. One of my favorite David Foster Wallace lines. I was talking about this on. Um, this is the DFW segment of the Minimalists we, Private Podcast. We did a whole DFW segment on uh, <laughs> Bex's podcast. It's called How to Love, by the way. How to Love Show. It's Patreon only. If you are interested in hearing a lot of things that I've never talked about in public ever. Um, oh, my God. Anyway, uh, How to Love is the name of her podcast. We we're talking about there's a line from one of his short stories that uh, it's about hummingbirds, I believe, or maybe it's about bees. But I think it's hummingbirds. Mm. In order for a hummingbird to stand still, they have to move very fast. Mm. You've seen that, right? A hummingbird where they're, they look like they're staying still. Right, but their wings are flapping a million miles a minute. And that was me in... December of mm. 2014. Yeah. I I was doing stillness. I was doing nothing. Here I am. I'm doing nothing. I am doing nothing. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I would do nothing harder. And that was the thing. But now there's stillness built into my everyday. When I talk about the, the calendar. Now, I work a lot. There's no question. And this week in particular, I had a few. Yesterday was a 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. sort of day. That's the first time I've done that in a decade. Damn. Now, uh, I was because I saw the finish line, and I'm like, I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. I'm not going to punt this. Like, yeah. And so I, I just finished it all up. But even in that, there was a great joy in it because there was stillness throughout the day. Like I went for a walk. To go around my block is exactly half an hour for me, mm. from my door to my elevator, around the block, up the stairs, in the elevator, into my door is like 29 minutes. And... And I did that several times with no music, no podcast. It was just just the walk, the stillness. Now, the world is still moving around me. Mm -hmm. And so stillness isn't a literal stillness of motion. And it's also not stillness of the mind Mm -hmm. because that's impossible. Don't think right now, Ryan. (laughs) That's what it's like to say do stillness. It's Mm -hmm. like saying don't think. Right. When I'm talking about stillness, it is a mental stillness. And when I'm writing, that's when I actually experience the most stillness, Mm. the state of no mind, Mm. not mindlessness, Mm -hmm. not mindfulness, Mm -hmm. but the state of no mind, a flow state, one might call it. There's a particular kind of stillness there. Mm. And, um, and, And so I don't seek that out so much as I, as I recognize it for what it is Mm -hmm. it is an experience and and that is all and i've gotten a lot more comfortable with it in the way that you would get more comfortable with going to the gym so to extend the the metaphor or to use a mixed metaphor here back in december 2014 it was like i i had never worked out before 
where I had I took the last eleven months off of working out, and then I hit the gym three times a day every day. Mm. And it was like, well, what am I doing? I'm yeah. this is this is awful. Yeah. And and that's what was happening. I I was doing stillness as opposed to like, well, making room for the stillness for the boredom. Mm. And once I started doing that, because I learned from that, that 2014 thing, and I've gotten a lot better, but especially in the last six months, last 12 months, but especially the last six months, I, I've really felt a peace that I've never felt before. And I think a lot of that has to do, we, we can call it stillness, we can call it eudaimonia, whatever, mm. but, but uh, there's a peace, and that never comes from a doing. Right. I can't, I can't do my way to peace. <laughs> I got to work harder on being peaceful. <laughs> it's like the U.S. trying to bomb people into peacefulness. <laughs> 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 what is that? Uh, is it iRobot? Or <laughs> he's like, we're here to rescue you. <laughs> 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 it's like the robot like destroying everything in its path. <laughs> Stay well, quiet while we rescue you. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, the, it's yeah, it's silly when you say it out loud. Obviously, yeah, right? Right. Did you enjoy this video? If so, you can listen to full episodes of the Minimalists' private podcast, available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com/slash/theminimalists today.